Hi, welcome back. In this video, we're going to talk about problem 38 from OpenStax College Physics, section 2.5 motion equations for constant acceleration in one dimension. The problem goes like this. A bicycle racer sprints at the end of a race to clinch a victory. The racer has, in, has an initial velocity of 11.5 meters per second squared and accelerates at the rate of 0.500 meters per second squared for seven seconds. Okay, so let, let me just start from there and draw perhaps a racing. Let me do it in black. Um, okay, this is like the racing ground. So shall we say that this is the play, the, 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 the victory line here. Okay, the victory. So there's a victory flag. Okay, so it's when you cross that line, then you win. You cross that line first, and you win the race already. Now, the racer, um, okay, uh, in this final sprint, the racer somewhere might be the racer might be somewhere here, okay. Yeah, the bicycle racer might be somewhere here, and uh, he initially he has a speed of at this point in time he has a speed of 11.5 meters per second squared and he's what uh, accelerating until for time equal to seven seconds is able to reach the finish line okay we don't we don't know as of the moment oh where's the eraser now maybe here okay just like that um we don't know as of the moment how, how far is this distance, but what we know is that he started at 11.5 meters per second squared and took a time of seven seconds to reach this um, destination, the, 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 the finish line. Now, the question is, what is his final velocity? So I think this is pretty easy. Again, I'm listing here the three equations that are very important in acceleration in one dimension. So these three equations, we'll just choose among this one, which one will fit. So I suggest you mem memorize this or you write this at the beginning, just to see, uh, at least you have options, what equations to use. So in this case, we're looking for part A, again, for part A, we're looking for P final, right? What is the his final velocity? So I think it's easy to use equation one, right? Vf is equal to V initial, so before, that acceleration, his speed is 11.5, so 11.5. I'm dropping up the units. Please only drop units if you are really confident already of your skill. 0.500 times time of seven seconds. Okay, and this will of course give us a unit of speed. So 11.5, let me do that in my calculator. 11.5 plus 0.5 times seven equal to 15. So this so the bias the cyclist now when he reaches the what the finish line has a speed of 15 meters per second. Okay, not bad. Now part B, the racer continues at this velocity. Oh wait. I think I made a mistake, right? Um yeah. <laughs> well um the racer continues at this velocity to the finish line. If he was 300 meters from the finish line when the, he started to accelerate, how much time did he save? Oh, I see. Which means that, oh, I, I think we made a mistake in the sense that um, the, the, the racer doesn't really accelerate all throughout. I mean, he only accelerates for, let, let me draw this here. The only he only accelerates until at this point somewhere here for seven seconds and he he was not yet on the finish line during after that time okay somewhere here so v here as we have what we have calculated is now 15 meter per second okay and what we know really is from the given problem is that this distance is actually 300 meters when he starts to accelerate to the finish line. And we don't know yet, okay? And this this one, again, let, let me write the acceleration here. Here at this point, A is um, 0.5, meaning within this section, 
the, the racer is accelerating. However, after that time, after that seven seconds, the this one at this region here, let me do that in green, A is now zero, meaning constant speed only until the, re the racer reaches the one. Until the racer reaches the, let me just copy paste this one. Um, until the racer reaches the finish line, he's moving at the speed of 15 meters per second. Okay? So the question is, uh, how much time did he save? Um, well, let us compute first the time it will take this racer if he is not accelerating, meaning if he kept, if he has just kept his speed of 11.5 meters per second squared, how long will it take him? Okay, meaning at constant v, at constant velocity, how long, how long will it take him to travel the 300 meters? Okay. So meaning if we assume that the racer is traveling at constant, at constant, it didn't accelerate, at constant v, time will be what? Well, we can still use this equation, just setting a equal to, no, no. I think we can use this equation here, um, s, okay? The second equation, assuming a is zero, so we'll be getting s is equal to vo over time, or just really since, Velocity is just constant. Time will just be what? Distance over velocity. So we can just work it out as 300 meters over the velocity or the speed is 11.5 meters. So this is not per second squared, just 11.5 meter per second. Okay. Equal to um, the time, of course, will just be what? 300 divided by. 11.5 so meaning oh let's assuming of course okay it's he's not accelerating he didn't accelerate kept the speed of 11.5 26.09 seconds meaning this is the time when the racer is just not it's just keeping the speed of 11.5 now let us compute um how, how long will it take the uh, the racer if he did accelerate for seven seconds, accelerated at 0.5 meters per second squared, and now doing the rest of the track at 15 meters per second. So let us solve for the time. Now, to be able to do that, we'll, let's let's calculate how long or how far is this line here? How far is this line where where the racer um, is now kept keeping the 15 meters per second speed? Okay in order to reach that after the deceleration. So to do that, to be able to compute that, we must be able to, we must be able to find this line first. I mean, this distance first. The distance where the racer is, is still accelerating for seven seconds. And again, the best way, the best equation to, to use for that is, well, I think we have how many equations to choose from? We have two equations, whether we can use this equation or we can use this equation because we're just solving for S, the displacement. In this case, displacement and distance are just the same because this is just a linear straight line motion. So VOT, or we can also use this. I suggest, let's let's try this part, this, this one, or yeah, we can also just use this. So if we plug in S, okay, that's, if I just plug into this equation, so please uh, bear with me, I will not be writing it. I will just do it in the calculator. VO, what's the initial speed? It's 11.5. 11.5 times T, okay? T is seven seconds plus, oh, I'll just use a parenthesis, 0.5 times A is 0.5 also. Okay, 0.5 there is the one half. 0.5 times um time squared seven squared is 49 okay times 49 so during that time where the cyclist is accelerating for seven seconds is able to travel a distance of 92.75 meters 92.75 meters and and what the rest of course since this is 300 meters um of course i think by by virtue of what uh, so 300 or minus 300, we can deduce that, oh, this must be a 207.25 meters. 
207.25 meters, that's the distance that the racer needs to travel at constant speed of 15 meters per second. Okay, and to solve for time for that, how long is that time? Constant speed, let me use a green for that here. T, of course, it's just what? Distance divided by velocity, right? Constant speed, you can just have what? Um, yeah, that's our equation. You can have speed or velocity is equal to distance over time. Since v is constant, we can just have time is equal to distance over velocity. So let's let's have that in the calculator. Distance is this. Never mind the sign. Divided by the velocity, which is 15. And that distance will need 13.82 seconds. 13.82 seconds. The racer will take that time to travel at a speed of 15 meters per second to travel this distance, remaining distance. Okay. Now. What do we have here is that um, the total time, therefore, is, so if we add plus 7 to that, plus 7, oh, no, 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 never mind. I'll just have 7 plus 13.82. The total time is 20.82, okay? So the total time, T is total, 20.82 seconds. And therefore, the answer to part B question, how uh, what? So let, let me put here, it's quite what? It's not really organized that much, but I hope you still learn something out of it. The time, time save, meaning by accelerating, the racer is able to save. So let's subtract this time. Normally, this is the time. The accelerator, uh, if, if he didn't accelerate, it will took him this time, minus 26. 0.09, never mind the negative, uh, 5.27, 5.27 seconds, okay, he's able to save that, instead of 26.09 seconds, oh, he was able only, uh, he only took, it only took him 20.82 seconds to travel the, the distance. Now, for part C, one other racer was five meters ahead when the winner started to accelerate, but he was unable to accelerate and traveled at 11.8 meter per second until the finish line. How far ahead of him in meters did the winner finish? Oh, so yeah, this, this is quite interesting. So the other player dot or the other contestant must be somewhere here. Let me just draw it. Uh, uh, I think I could just I just could just erase this the this writings here at the bottom. Okay, here. So uh, during that time, there's other cyclists who must somehow leading before that, but the cyclists kept the velocity only of it didn't accelerate only of eleven point eight meter per second. And note that he is what he is five meters ahead of the winner. Okay, so. Well, he's just what, 295 meters close to the finish line, right? Now, okay, let, let me have here the five meters here. This is the five, I think I'll use another pen. Uh, let me use green. So this distance here is five meters, okay, during that time. But since, didn't surely this one didn't win, but let us compute how far ahead, ahead does this one when he reaches the finish line where is this guy now so how do you compute that well this guy is only doing constant speed so we can just use this equation distance is velocity times time or speed times time so distance is equal to speed is 11.8 meters per second and the time is let's use the time where the winner uh, okay the, the winner used to reach the finish line which is 20.82 seconds, okay? And that will give us a what? Let us see, 11.8 times 20.82. Okay, it's 245.68, 245.68 meters. So what do I mean by that? During that time, during that time, this, this person here was able to travel that distance. 245.68 meters, okay? 
And now, how far is that? I think it's close already to the finish line, but not there yet, right? Let us see. That's 300. This is this is 300 meters. So by the way, this is 295, right? There's 295 meters here left. Uh, and, and he has already traveled 245.68. So let, let me compute that. Um, 295 to go and minus 245.68. And now he is really close at 49.32. 49.32 meters, meaning the remaining distance, okay, this remaining distance here in blue is only 49.32 meters. But this is his lag, meaning the winner leads by this distance before the second player, uh, because the second player is still here, okay, still here biking when the winner reaches the finish line already, okay? I hope you learned something out of that. So that's the answer for part C, part C, 49.32 meters. Thank you.